Hello guys! So today, I hope you join us as we do a Bible story, a short Bible story. And Haven's gonna learn a new one. So, learn with us! Okay, it's in Genesis 4. Okay, then. Read with me. Adam made love to his wife Eve and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, with the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Okay? A boy? Yes, a boy. Later, she gave birth to his brother Abel. Okay? He's another boy. Yes, so another two boy. Yes, two boys. Now, Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. He kept flocks. Of, I think like sheep, animals, that was his job. And then Cain... His brother, his job was the soil. It means he was like planting, farming, all about the soil. Understand? Alright. In the course of time, it says after a certain time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering. Fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. It means the very best. When you say fat, fat portion, it means the very best part of the animal. Okay? And he gave it to the Lord as an offering. Usually before, they had an altar and then they were like gonna burn their offerings and then that was their like symbol to God that we are worshiping the Lord. We are it offering looks like the when it gets burned, it will like go up. Yes, yes, yes. All right. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. It means God was very pleased on the offering of Abel, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. Oh, so Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Remember, sometimes when I get angry at you and then you're sad, and then I will tell you the same thing. I will say, whose fault is that? Oh, that it's, it looks like this, oh, like this. Remember, uh, God was saying to King, Why are you angry? If you did what is right, then it, it will be acceptable to me. It's like God was saying that. Is there something wrong with King's offering? That's right. God did not like it. So now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. Oh, Cain said, said that to his brother. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Hmm? Yeah. Wait, what did you say again? Here. It's here. Oh, you read it. Why do you think Cain killed Abel? Is he Yes, why? He's, why, why? Why was he angry? Yes, because he was envious and jealous. That's why he killed his brother Abel. Then the Lord sent, said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? That's what Cain said. The Lord said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse. Again, he cursed him. Remember, it's like a punishment. Remember, he also cursed Adam and Eve and the serpent because they did something wrong. I told you, God is loving, but he also punishes because he is a just God. If you do what's wrong, it's gonna punish also. So, God um, said, You're under a curse and driven from the ground which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you. Okay, that's the curse. It means that no matter how he farms, 
it will not produce fruit anymore. You will be a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is more than I can bear. Okay, Cain was like telling to God, That's too much a punishment. Today you are driving me from the land and I will be hidden from your presence. I will be a restless wanderer on the earth and whoever finds me will kill me. That was, it's like his appeal to the Lord. He's like complaining. But the Lord said to him, Not so. Anyone who kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over. The Lord put a mark on Cain so that no one who found him would kill him. So, because Cain was like worried that um, since he will become a restless wanderer, you know, like homeless, like that, um, anyone might kill him. So, God put a mark on him so that no one will kill him. Okay? So Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Alright, so that's the story. So what did you learn from this story? First, why do you think God accepted Abel's offering and he didn't accept or look with favor on Cain's offering? Why, why do you think so? Because he doesn't want to. <laughs> Because he's getting it. Of course, there's a reason. God is not like that. That he just don't. He just doesn't want it. God is not like God. God is perfect. Is there's a there's a reason. God knows the future that we can only Okay, I'm gonna give you a clue again on this. It says here, Cain brought some. Oh, he only brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. How about Abel? Eva brought an offering fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. So what's the difference between their offerings? Well, you may What does bulungan mean? Huh? What does bulungan mean? Whispering. I'm whispering to you. Abel's offering was the best. Yeah. Because look here. Oh, you have to answer. <laughs> Look, Cain brought only some of the fruits. It didn't say that he brought the best part, but Abel brought the best of the flock. Bad things that um, Cain did. Number one, God did not find his offering right. It means that he didn't offer the right thing. He didn't give the best. Number two, he was angry pa. He was envious and jealous. Yes, I know the, the three reasons. What are the three reasons? You know? Really? What? Tell me. Number one, that... That... That the three didn't favor his And... And two, Abel got jealous and Abel, Abel, who? <laughs> Okay, so you see, Cain really has an attitude problem. Remember, I told you, you have to fix your attitude. Why is that? You know why? Because that's a problem of Cain here. He said, he had an attitude problem. Number one, his attitude was, he didn't bring the best for God. So, he shouldn't follow that attitude because that's bad. Every time, you always give the best for God. Alright? When we pray, we pray the best to God. When we sing songs to God, we sing from our hearts. And every day, we make sure that we follow God's commands. We always give our very best to God. So that God will accept whatever we're giving unto Him. Number two is stop being jealous or envious. Why did he kill Abel? Because he was jealous. He was jealous, right? He was jealous that God accepted Abel's offering. When in fact, he was 
the one wrong naman? Right? If he gave the best to God, do you think God will accept it? If Cain gave the best to God? Yeah. Oh, see? So who was the wrong there? Cain, right? And then, his response to that, instead of apologizing to God, did he ever apologize in the story? No. See? That's why I told you, diba? You always say, when you find when you find out that you're wrong, you have to admit it and just apologize and then change it. Make, make up, okay? Or you, you have to do is just apologize. I know, right? It's just easy to apologize. And no, not pretend to apologize, but it should be real when you apologize. Understand? All he had to do was to say sorry to God and then just tell get that okay next time I'll do better and then really do better, right? You got it! See? If you were keen pala, you know what to do. But that's what that that that's not what he did. Instead he got very jealous pa. And then the third one was the very, very, very the the worst of all. What did he do? Oh my goodness. So you see, en envy and jealousy can lead to disaster. You shouldn't compare. So for example, you like what others have. Oh, and then you get jealous. Do you think that's nice? Yeah. Oh, you should stop feeling that way. I told you, Deva, you always... You should always be grateful with what you have and be happy for others because... That's good content. What? That's good content. What content? Content. Content. <laughs> yes, that's right. Content. What's that? What, what verse was that? You know, that word. Yeah, that's right. Right. For like, yeah, that's right. 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 to be content. Yes, you should be con <laughs> content, right? So, don't ever be like that. Okay, like Cain, and so God punished him with so, um, like a worse punishment. He told you, God is very loving, but because he is loving, he also disciplines, and it hurts when he disciplines. That's it, so remember, huh? Always give the best to God, and never be envious or jealous. And don't kill anyone. <laughs> Only the cockroach. Go! <laughs> you can kill the cockroach. You can kill him. You can kill bugs. Bugs, yes. That's it. Okay, okay, I hope you enjoyed also the story. I hope you learned too. Ah, just like her. <laughs> <laughs>